Liberia is well on the road to recovery. In the space of six months, it achieved two significant milestones. On the 22nd of January, football star George Weah was peacefully sworn in as president, and on March 30th, the UN peacekeeping mission withdrew after deployment of almost 15 years. But Liberia's transition to sustained peace is far from over, and the next phase of peace building is a crucial one. The country has many frameworks to guide its way forward, but more can be done to find linkages between peace and development, and to strengthen partnerships with southern development partners who can complement peace building activities. South-South Cooperation provides a broad framework for collaboration between two or more developing countries of the South. It allows countries to share knowledge, skills, expertise and resources to meet their development goals without compromising national sovereignty, ownership or independence. South-South generally has reference to countries that have been previously colonized. They share uh, traits of similar histories so, and, and similar experiences of development, of exploitation, or, or, of economic challenges. And uh, one would uh, often uh, want to believe that uh, sharing that kind of solidarity and historical past will actually benefit the way you look at development, uh, to develop uh, in a manner that benefits the people of the South. You know, South South cooperation can be very meaningful. This is the way forward. You know, you go to countries like South Africa with, you know, their advancement in technology, you go to Nigeria and uh, with their hum huge human resource uh, uh, cap cap capability. And thankfully, these countries are really coming forward now to assist some of the uh, 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 African countries in the area of South-South cooperation. If you can see South African companies all over the continent. Nigeria has assistance and they have, they have a, a Peace Corps program more or less, you know, assisting other countries, trying to lift them up. I think this is the way forward. This is the way we should go. You know, South-South cooperation is the way forward. Better linkages between northern and southern actors that avoid duplication and build on comparative advantages are required to sustain the peace gains in Liberia. This requires developing a better understanding of Liberia's needs and who and how these should be provided. It also requires looking beyond government-to-government -government exchanges and seeing how the private sector and civil society can be supported. As much as we have our traditional donors, we should take advantage of the African Union, uh, the resources they have in terms of skills and manpower. Uh, tapping into that, we should also tap into Equa member states. Uh, some example which I just gave you, and we can talk. Uh, we can look at our northern partners uh, in the context of providing funds. Everybody wants to work for the government. There is no way society will be developed if uh, the private sector is not uh, encouraged, not well motivated. The president has visited all these countries since he took over. We need to really lift. You know, our countries, you know, ECOWAS volunteers, you know. So if we continue this way, then the South South Operation activities will be uh, more boosted. After decades of civil war, Liberia has come a long way. But sustaining peace requires breaking down the silos and providing unified responses to the country's ongoing challenges.